from traumatized to transform, Jesus Christ at the cross of Calvary did for us what nobody could ever do. If you have your Bibles, go to Psalms 107 as we look at from traumatized to transform, Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forever. In this devotional entitled, Eyes to See and Ears to Hear. What a great God we serve. Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forever, tells us clearly in the scriptures that he will transform our life into something beautiful, traumatized to transformed. The blessing of repentance is, is found through Jesus Christ and forgiveness that comes from Jesus. As Psalms 107 verses 13 to 16 tells us, gives us the illustration of Israel, who's held in Babylonian captivity because of disobedience and sin, is symbolic of what happens to those who do not have a personal relationship with Jesus and reject him as Lord. They find themselves in continuous bondage. The Bible says in Psalms 107 verse 13, they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distressed distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and broke the bonds asunder. Oh, that man would praise the Lord for his goodness and his wonderful works to the children of men. The gates here represent the bondage of sin. The psalmist is describing a strong prison that'd be difficult to escape. This is symbolic of what sin does to us, how it keeps us captive, how it brings distress and emotional stress. And the verse says in verse 16 of Psalm 107, for he had broken the gates and broke the bars of brass and cut the bars of iron asunder. Jesus breaks the power of darkness and breaks the bands and the iron gates and the darkness of the past tries to tell us we can never recover. We can never recover from sin. We'll always be held captive, but that is a lie. The devil is a liar. And past trauma tries to tell us, like Israel's imprisonment in Babylon, the captivity of that tries to tell us we'll never escape. It tries to tell us that sin will dominate us for the rest of our life. But the good news is this. Jesus Christ came to break the gates of bondage and the iron bars. And the gates try to tell us that distress will always dominate our life and sin will always dominate our life. But the devil's a liar. Jesus came to set us free from the past. And in the New Testament, Paul tells us in Romans chapter 12, present your bodies a living sacrifice and be not conformed, but be transformed. Metamorphosis is the Greek word metamorphosis change from something ugly to something beautiful something has taken place from a caterpillar to a butterfly and that's what happens when we turn to jesus christ he changes our life our character romans 6 14 says for sin shall not have dominion over you for ye are not under the law but under grace we are no longer slaves to sin because Jesus Christ at the cross of Calvary has broken the bars of sin. As Revelation 1.18 says, Jesus conquered death and has the keys of hell and has all authority in his hands. Jesus, our deliverer and our healer, has broken the, the bars of, of, of transgression, broken the bars of captivity. We've been transformed, traumatized to transform a metamorphosis from a caterpillar bowed to the ground to free in the air like a butterfly that flies. There's a metamorphosis that's taken place. Jesus has transformed us. Remember, Jesus made the great exchange for us at the cross of Calvary. He said, here, take my righteousness. Give me your unrighteousness. Take my freedom and give me your sin. Give me your bondage, I'll give you my freedom. The great exchange when we accept Christ as our Savior, repent of our sins, Jesus transforms our life from a caterpillar to a butterfly. God bless you, the Lord keep you as you look to Jesus Christ, the author, finisher of our faith.